And we're back. Hey guys, My Hero Academia chapter 269. Jeez. Um, kind of missed last, well no, it wasn't last week, it was two weeks ago. But, we're back, um, you know, quarantine. We're basically staying home, stay home, stay safe. And it's not making it easier now that the chapters are basically coming out every other week. If you didn't realise and if you didn't know, basically at the end of this chapter they said next chapter is 10th of May. But I want to get down into the the crazy stuff which is going on. Um, last week, yeah, I realised no one's talking about this. I just want to talk about it for a couple of seconds. Last week, the end of the chapter on chapter 368, Shirakuma was at the end of the page. I know a lot of people thought it was like, Shir um, Shigaraki like stirring in this cage. No. In his tube. No, 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 no. It's Shirakumo. So, um, if you didn't catch that, literally, because like the last page is like three panels, and it's like the middle panel, it's Shirakumo. Don't know really, don't really know what that means. Um, I don't know if he's going to break out or Taurus. I don't know, because it's, it's, it's weird, because obviously Shigaraki, not Shigaraki, sorry, Shirakumo, a.k.a. Kurogiri, is in Taurus right now. And who did the last, this chapter, who did it end on? It ended on All For One as well, who's obviously in Taurus. I know a lot of people are saying we're going into like a prison arc kind of, prison break arc kind of thing, but I'm like, mm, I don't know, like... I'm not, I just don't see it happening like that. I do think there will be a prison break, but I don't, I don't see it like, okay, cool. We're going to kidnap Shigaraki, we're going to kidnap the Doctor, take them to Tartarus, and somehow they're going to, they're going to break out. It just doesn't really make sense to me. And also what's not really making sense, I've said it before, is this is going pretty easy for the heroes. Obviously, like, yeah, there are some casualties here and there on both sides. Not really both sides. Um... And the villain, obviously, obviously twice. But Mirko, especially seeing her from the start of this chapter, she's not knocking on death's door, so, but she's pretty much right up, um, coming close to it. So, in this chapter, you basically see, like, her side withered, obviously the arm's gone, bit of her legs, parts of it looks like it's been, like, someone, like, the Nomi's either just, like, punched it out, or, and it, but it also looks like it's been chewed as well. So, I'm not sure either way, most of the Nomi's, they've got some nasty teeth up in here. So, who knows, maybe one of the Nomi's just, like, munched on one of her legs. Wanted some, I don't know, some kind of bunnies for, like, lunch or something. But, no, it's crazy, because looking at Mirko, seeing her just trapped, obviously, I don't want her to die. I don't think she's going to. I just feel like Horikoshi has focused so much on her character in general, um, that it would kind of be a waste to kill her off, basically. But, jeez, she put in the work. She really did put in some work. Now, when you see Endeavor first in high end, Endeavor basically is I taking out all of this kind of stuff. I know, I know, I know these most of these um, high ends, these no moves, they weren't at 100%. Obviously, a lot of them were just stabilizing. A lot of them were basically like waking up, kind of. So, it was. It wasn't like they were all at 100% and, no, and Mirko was just fighting them. No, it went like that. It went like that. But still, she was basically fighting like five high ends. That is crazy. Just shows how strong she actually is. And speaking of strong, um, Crust Hero. I want to talk about him for a second because this hero is hilarious. Okay, Crust Hero was basically struggling. Not okay, not really struggling, but he was making no progress whatsoever with this like gigantic Nomi a, a past couple of chapters ago. But like in this one, he just like throws a shield and he's just like, it's okay, I got this. Or like something like that. And I'm just like, mm, okay, all right, fair enough. But. Make it make sense. Um, but I don't know, the power scaling in My Hero Academia, it's interesting because it's more like, I don't know, I just feel like, in, especially because of how grounded, okay, yeah, just how like heroes and villains and how like you've got your quirks, I feel like, yeah, it's just like every second counts, like especially in this fight, and that's why I'm kind of talking about the power scaling, because... If you've got, if you, the upper hand is time, basically, like if, if you get the first attack in, sometimes you've closed the deal. Um, especially, um, kind of with like Crust, that's why I'll, because before when I was reading the chapter, I was just like, really? Crust kind of like stopped her off? Um, I guess it just shows you again how strong he actually is and how versatile it is. I thought he, he can just make these shields like protrude from him. I didn't think he could actually like, Eject them off his body. That is pretty much more cooler as well. Um, cause at first of all, he was just like a shield. Like, yeah, just like, that kind of thing. But in fact, if he can, like, shoot it, shoot it out, okay, this has pretty cool. It is pretty cool. And it does kind of get the Nomi a bit off their feet. Is it me, or are these Nomi's looking extremely gigantic this chapter? I maybe have to go a couple of chapters 
I may have to go back a couple of chapters just to see, but they look pretty big. But, um, yeah, so basically, this chapter we find out, I know I was kind of rambling on a bit from the start, but basically in this chapter we find out that, um, these tubes, they just basically, they keep you in a vegetative state, um, just to make it more easy for the process to go on. So, Shigaraki is basically unconscious, he's basically like in a coma, kind of, and the only way to wake him is to shock him. Um, that's obviously all the doctor's planning to do in this chapter, he even has the remote and he's like screaming, he's like, awake! Like, arise, Shigaraki! But, you know, DJ Mike gets in there, President Mike, President, I always say that, President Mike always get, he got there, um... And seeing him in this chapter was pretty cool. Uh, he reminds me of a hero in Marvel called Black Bolt. I don't know if, if you guys are into Marvel comics like that. Yeah, basically this hero, like, he, he doesn't speak because, like, his his voice is sound waves. So every time he speaks, he can, like, destroy, destroy a city. Now, obviously, President Mike's not on that level. Um, who knows? I don't know, but I feel like one chapter, someone said that, like, President Mike is, like, they classed him... I swear Prison Mike got classed as in, like, a different kind of level. Because, like, his quirk is pretty powerful. But I guess we just haven't seen him that much. Um, but, yeah, so see, seeing him in this chapter was really cool. And seeing how he basically, like, punched the Doctor. And he was just like, that's for making my friend cry. Um, they really are ramping up for this Shirokumo to, like, I, I guess, like, come back to life, kind of. Like, he's already alive, but he's not. I don't know. Like, his, what's happening with Shirokumo is kind of interesting right now. Um, and just Kur Kurigiri in general as a Nomu. Um, but yeah, that's not what this chapter is about. Um, but yeah, so guys, what do you think is actually going to happen? Because as I said, it's, it's looking a bit too easy. Um, the heroes are basically everything's going to work as a plan. Um, so what's probably going to happen is Shigaraki's going to wake up in a couple of chapters. However, just the whole way that this is going on, it's really reminding me of, reminding me of, um, when All Might and the Heroes come to, like, rescue Bakugo, and, like, everything's just, like, fine. They basically, like, put all of them in cuffs, Shigaraki's in cuffs, and then all of a sudden, all for one arrives. And just, like, changes the whole entire situation. Now, I don't think something like that's going to happen, because, obviously, all for one is in prison as well. But the way that this chapter's ending, it looks like he's even smiling. I know a lot of people, have, um, I've seen a lot of people talk about all for one possibly using his ragdoll quirk. Um, people think he can actually, he's actually, like, he can break out any time if he wants to. I don't know, to be honest. Um, yeah, I just think it's a lie, basically, this chapter. This is what I got from this chapter. Like, even when the doctor was, like, crying, saying, like, it's all over. Like, the Lord's dream of evil. Like, it's all done. I'm like, nah, it ain't, please. So, um, maybe that's what the doctor thinks, because that's what it looks like. But either Shigaraki's gonna wake up, or Wolf One's got something in plan. Either way. <sighs> It's kind of crazy. But no, this chapter was really, really cool. It was kind of hard to follow. These past couple of chapters have been hard to follow because a lot of it's just been straight action. So especially seeing some of, like, the shots and the panels, how, like... Yeah, it's just kind of hard to follow to see what's going on, but uh, you just have to read it a couple of times just to get the grips of it. But what is really, really cool is the female Nomi comes in and it's just like, so you're the number one. Basically just charges that endeavor. And, and at the end of the chapter, all the heroes come in. Rock Lock's here. Um, Raikyu's here as well. By the way, Dragon Hero Raikyu, I just feel like... She's so strong, but we just haven't seen much of her. Like, it, it really did annoy me in the overall arc. I was just like, she's just basically left outside. Like, she's just, like, keeping watch. And then obviously she fights one of the guys on the eight precepts. But I was just like, no, nah, man, it's a dragon. It's a freaking dragon. Like, surely we should see more of it. So I, I kind of liked it was cool because she basically put the gnome in a chokehold. And then it was, like, biting its arm. And I think Rock Lock puts, like, locks the gnome. Um... Then you're seeing, who else do we see here? And then obviously Endeavor like spirals out and basically uppercuts Nomi. It, I, I don't know what it looks like going on that. First of all, like the head came off, but it looks like the head's still there. So like uppercuts the Nomi whilst like blasting it with fire. That's what it looks like he's doing. Um, they obviously now know the Nomi's weaknesses, especially Endeavor. So Endeavor's not like with the fight that we saw recently in the anime with Endeavor versus High End. It's, Endeavor's not really pulling out all those tricks and tips to try and, you know, like, weaken it down. He knows just to go to the head now. And that's what he's basically been doing. Um, but yeah, I felt like Endeavor's been, been doing pretty good with these Nomus. Obviously, there was the Nomi last chapter, I think, and the one that he just basically just, like, punched um, to the ground. That was crazy. Um, 
But yeah, no, Endeavor's doing pretty cool. Now, other than that, um, yeah, this chapter was really, really awesome. Other than that, one more thing. As I was sensei, like, you know what? I was even thinking about it this week. I was just thinking, ever had a quirk like as I was sensei? I feel like some, most of your tra some of your training would just genuinely be like staring competitions because like I was just thinking, this guy's eyes must be stinging like crazy right now. As in the fact that you just see this one panel and he's just like keeping his eyes like forcefully opening because he knows if he blinks, their quirks come back. And especially with these high ends, these no moves, a split of a second, they can like they can wreak havoc so he basically forcibly has to keep his eyes open whilst the heroes are combating these gnomies and try and take them out within that time so like this is all happening in seconds um i'm not sure how long as i since he can keep his eyes open not really sure um but even even still this fight yeah it's going pretty quickly um now in regards to what i think is going to happen next chapter i don't know i think I mean, like, it's not the end. It, it, it isn't. Like, think about it. There's the mansion still going on. We kind of forgot about that. Um, Getting and Gigant Sumatra. These men haven't even gotten into the fray. So I feel like... We know Shigaraki controls um, Gigant Sumatra now. Um, but I feel like if, if the doctor says something, he may follow orders. So, like, if he screamed out his name, like, come or something like that. I don't know. Like, that would be pretty crazy. But, yeah, I think... And like, either if not next chapter, next couple of chapters, we're going to see an awakened Shigaraki. Um, and that's gonna be crazy, cause like, even, even during this whole chapter, Mirko's just like, get him, get him, don't let him wake up. Like, this guy's just, we know, and the way that Horikoshi's been bringing up these chapters, the way that he's been using the suspense as well, like, we know that when Shigaraki awakes, he's not gonna be as how he used to be. We know that he's gonna be on a completely other level, and the premise is that no hero can take him out right now. That's my opinion. I know a lot of people share that as well, like, when Shigaraki awakes, I generally don't think anyone can take him out. I feel like, He's going to be unstoppable. Um, so yeah, that is really, really crazy. And regarding to the flashbacks that we saw in this chapter with um, Shirokumo, Aizawa Sensei and President Mike. Yeah, Shirokumo is going to wake soon. Um, and that's going to be pretty, pretty cool to see. But yeah, guys, that is enough for me. Please tell me your thoughts and comments on what you thought about this chapter. If you like anything I say, that will be... Drop a like, that will be greatly appreciated. Um, yeah, it's hype, boys. Um, two weeks. Two weeks, two weeks, guys. We're gonna have to wait. Um, so I'll see you, lovely people, in two weeks. I'm gonna actually do like a discussion video because I really want to talk about Shirokuma. Um, I was gonna do that before this chapter drops out, but assignments, man. It's like it's crazy. Um, quarantine ain't stuff in this school. Well, it is, but it ain't at the same time. But anyway, guys, yeah, that's enough for me. Peace out, guys. Goodbye. I love you all. Bye bye.